Hello there guys, this is Easy Techie and in this video we are going to talk about reading Microsoft Word documents on Android devices as well as desktops without using Microsoft Word. So a lot of people cannot buy or do not want to buy Microsoft Word but uh, or Microsoft Office but want to use all those features in order to read Microsoft Word documents want a simple solution rather than downloading uh, hundreds of MBs of data they just want a simple solution which will be like in few bytes a few MBs in order to uh, an application which is of the size of 5 MBs or something or few MBs which is able to read Microsoft Word documents that's what uh, many people want but what is Microsoft giving us Microsoft is giving us applications that cost us uh, some amount of money and then we need to install it we need uh, we need but it's not something uh, which we want for a basic uses right if someone sends us a microsoft word document on our phone in order to open it we need to install um, 40 or 30 mbs of data 30 mbs of uh, an app right and then there are ads in it you cannot save it in your sd card storage and all those issues occur moreover uh, what i found is that the microsoft word application on android is only supported for 4.4 KitKat and Lollipop, right? It's not supported for any devices below that. And there are internet, there is, there is a uh, sign up required, a login required in order to use that app. All those things are there, all those things are in place. But I'm going to talk about the real fix, the real solution to this problem, okay? So there is a Microsoft Word Reader app already on play store uh, it's very new it's just the uh, first day uh, it got more than a hundred downloads on first day itself that is half of the day it goes more than hundred downloads still there is a lot of there are a lot of people who are yet to discover this app so this is like in pre-launch or something there is many more improvement that's going to get, get on to this app so but anyways let's get into it okay so this is basically the application that is present on play store i'll be getting uh, getting uh, i'll be getting into the desktop or mac and uh, windows users as well but for now let me just talk about android so this is the android application if i open it okay you will see this particular interface right so um, here you have a browse button wherein you can click and browse your particular uh, Microsoft Word docx file and you know open it or there is uh, if your if your docx documents are in root of your internal storage then they will be listed here what I found so if you just click on them uh, it will just open up with all sorts of uh, images settings and all that you know this uh, yeah this shows you a little bit of an animation and stuff and then you, if you see you just scroll down you have tables you have everything working you can just open up a docx uh, file on the go and read it and you know comment upon it or whatever okay uh, I didn't show you one thing okay uh, let me just open the second document yeah so there is another thing that I didn't talk about which is pretty much better than what you get there is a option to save it as an HTML or PDF right so this 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 feature right here is completely different from the other applications that are present for android right so this again is an advantage uh, over other applications and you and the best part is you are getting all of this uh, at just for just free absolutely free and the size of the app is just 5 mb 5 mb application can read your Microsoft Word documents and it can open any Microsoft Word document and uh, it will be like a default app for uh, Microsoft Docx files and you can read it on the go and you do not need internet connection for it you can read it offline and you can convert that into uh, a, a PDF as well as an HTML file uh, so it acts like a converter it has editing options it has like you can read it on the go you know all of this just for within 5 mbs of size you can read it offline 
So it's really, I mean, he, the developer himself is not even earning any anything out of this app, I guess, because there are no ads at all in the app. So I guess that's kind of that's kind of different. And the another thing that I saw is that if you go to Microsoft Word, uh, Microsoft Word application on Android on Play Store, you would see that it has downloads from five million to ten million. That's great, but it requires KitKat and above for running it and and Android but here over here if you see it just need gingerbread if you even if you have gingerbread even if you have the lowest version of Android available it will run on it smoothly and does not require internet connection does not has have any sort of ads as such so I believe this is what we are looking for right now in order to read Microsoft Word documents right to read it offline and uh, though it's not mentioned, I'll just show you, I mean, though it's not present in screenshots, but I can show you another thing that I found in this app, uh, which is which is quite different. Uh, if, if I just go to uh, my internal storage or any sort of uh, folder in my uh, internal storage or SD card, and I just click on it, there is an option to read it through DocX Reader. Uh, the kind of resolution for this particular... Uh, uh, so this particular kind of resolution of this uh, emulator is not good so I'm not able to show you properly but in any case this is how it looks like right you see I can open it so if you make this your default application you can easily open any sort of apps in it right and then you can convert it to uh, HTML file as well so I'll just show you because a lot of people need HTML output uh, from uh, docx uh, so that as well can be done so let me just open it right nice animation there and then you have this option to save as html let me say it's stored in sd card docx reader folder okay so let's just get into it uh, docx reader folder you see there is our html right let me just open it in HTML viewer. There you go. That is our file, right? So that's the that's the kind of advantage that you get uh, with uh, this application, and it's free. It doesn't have any ads as such till now, at least, and it can be run. Off, it can be used offline also. So that's again an advantage and you have very low size so if you want this app if you don't want any improvement in this app you can tell me because i'm in direct contact with this developer and i can you know make sort of improvements i can tell the developer to make sort of improvements in this app so that's one of the advantages now coming back to the desktop and mac users right how do you open this app so let's say you and i'm talking everything legally right so you are not pirating any sort of software here. You can install Gini Motion. You can install Gini Motion. You can install BlueStacks and run any sort of Android applications on it. And then you can also read uh, docx files uh, in your uh, in your Gini Motion as well. So you can install this app on your emulator or on your Gini Motion or BlueStacks, whatever and then open this app and read your Microsoft Word documents. You can just drag and drop and read that as well. If you need a very specific, like, uh, I mean, a special sort of method in order to edit it in a browser or something without using Microsoft Word document, then the solution is really different. I think there are some videos on that. Uh, but if you want me to explain that, that will be there in my blog, in the link in the description. So. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe for more uh, stuff like this, you know, uh, stuff which is new uh, in, on the Play Store, on in, in technology is coming up. So please like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.